Today's toast of the town is Dr. Randall Pinkett. This Somerset resident is a powerful entrepreneur, author, and speaker who was crowned the season four winner of The Apprentice. Let's learn how living in hip NJ fuels his success. Randall, hi. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Great to see you. Good, welcome to First Baptist Church. Yes, I'm happy to be here. So what made you pick this spot as our first place to visit today? Well, you know, First Baptist Church is like a second home for me, and it immediately spoke to my spirit and spoke to my heart, and it's been my spiritual home ever since I moved back to New Jersey. The church organizes a number of different events. One of the latest from our pastor, uh, DeForest Stories, is called DeFree, which is around helping parishioners, and not just our church, but other churches, to become debt-free. And so I've signed on as a spokesperson with the pastor and the church. Why is spirituality so important to you, and how did it fuel your success? Yeah, so spirituality is really my foundation. People go to seminars about success and we write books about success and we challenge ourselves to be successful. But I believe we have a much greater calling, which is to be great. And I define success as what you do for yourself. I define greatness as what you do for somebody else. Randall, you brought me to your favorite food spot here in Somerset, yes. Mi Amor restaurant. Yes, Mi Amor. And this is your favorite dish right here. Absolutely. My, I got my salmon, I've got my broccoli, I've got my rice or paella. Tell me about your upbringing in New Jersey. My parents moved here when I was one, so all my memories are of New Jersey. The uh, thing that for me makes New Jersey such a great home is the people. BCT Partners, tell me about that. Right, so BCT Partners, we are a consulting firm. A lot of the work that we do is focused on helping strengthen communities. And so a lot of that work is situated in low-income communities, in underserved communities. BCT Partners, you're rocking and rolling with that. And then you went on The Apprentice. What made you apply to that show, first of all? The truth is it was my wife's idea oh. for me to go on The Apprentice. She was a big fan of the show. They put me on the show, and there were a million people who applied to be on the show that year. There were 18 of us that were chosen to compete. I won the show, and it was an amazing experience. Tell me about the dirty details. How's Mr. Trump? <laughs> <laughs> what you see is what you get. Which yeah. Is, you know, he's not that different off camera than he is on camera. Aspiring entrepreneurs like me appreciate the opportunity that he gave us. What's the best advice you give to aspiring entrepreneurs? The perception of entrepreneurial success is the individual. The story behind the story is always the team, the team, and the team. So the advice I give to entrepreneurs is do not go this alone. Enough talking. Can we eat before we go to the gym? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I think we're doing it a little backwards, but whatever. That's all well and good. All right, cool. The key to success for any successful entrepreneur is a sound mind, body, and soul. And on our last stop, we're at New York Sports Club here with Randall and his trainer. Come over here, Malik. <laughs> How you doing? How y'all doing? Oh, okay. Got me in there. <laughs> tell me about his workout regime. Oh, let me tell you. This is the man. All right. When you look at him, you see him in the nice little suits and the nice and tucked. The chest is out. The stomach is in. It took work behind the scenes to get that. Why do you place such a premium on working mm. out? Well, you said it best, mind, body, and spirit, mind, body, and soul. I'm traveling, I'm on the road, I'm in meetings, I'm trying to raise family, and you can't withstand that kind of lifestyle unless you take care of the, of the body. This is the temple. Shout out to all my people here in New Jersey, Hip New Jersey, check it out. For more on this segment, log on to hipnewjersey.com.